What's up you guys and thanks for joining me for this review of Lawn Mowing Simulator which I've been playing on the Xbox Series X. So this game will be available for Xbox Series consoles and PC from tomorrow, that's the 10th of August 2021 and man has this game provided me with a cool journey so far. If you're familiar with this channel you might be aware that I first previewed this game back in April of this year and had some great fun trying out the game as part of the Xbox Insider preview program. That original video currently is sitting around 116k views, which blows me away even to this day. From here, I went on to play the official demo back in June of this year, and here we are in August 2021, with my review of the game just before release date. Before we do anything else, I'd just like to say if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love it if you would go ahead and do that and maybe turn on the notification bell. It would mean the world to me if you would do that. Also, if you enjoy this video, please do leave me a like. So first up, I just want to give a big thanks to Curve Digital for providing me with the pre-release code and thanks to developer Skyhook Games who've been a pleasure to communicate with over the last few months. I want to start by saying this review will be my usual chilled out style, but I will be sure to cover the main points. If you've watched my previous videos on this game, you have already watched me start my business a few times, test out the starter modes and get started with the first mission. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the overall finished product, gameplay, graphics, sound and whether or not I think this is a good simulation game. So what do you get with the full game? Well, you can cut up to 31 different lawns, some of which are at the same location but with multiple lawns available. There's 12 lawn mowers available from various licensed brands and there's a bunch of challenges available to test your lawn mowing skills. All these things unlock as you progress through the career mode. So you have to build your company from the ground up, starting with a business name, and then you design your character, logo, and uniform colors. You have to buy a lawnmower, maintain it, and all of this costs money. You obviously make money from the jobs you do, but the amount you make is based on your lawn mowing skills. Not only do you get paid for doing a great job, you also can damage your lawnmower by driving too fast and receive penalties for accidentally mowing down flowers. Now, the only real addition that I've come across in terms of gameplay is that grass bags have been added to each lawn area for you to empty your lawn mower into. There are no other gardening accessories included in the full game, which I know will be a disappointment to some. There's also no driving to and from missions, you just arrive with a quick check of the garden for miscellaneous items that have been left on the lawn, and then you just get to cut in the grass. In terms of graphics, surprisingly this game is only for series consoles and PC, so that means that last gen consoles have been left behind on this one. The reason why I say it's surprising is because the graphics aren't the level where I could justify this next gen only approach. The only reason that I can think of why they took this approach is the use of the Unity engine and I could be totally wrong on that. It could be that the assets in use here such as the licensed machinery and blades of grass would have caused performance issues on the previous gen consoles. I would also like to mention frame rate wise the game doesn't have a 60 FPS option and there are times when the frame rate visibly looks slow. There are also times when there's very obvious popping due to limited draw distances. As mentioned in previous videos, I didn't notice the popping as much in the original preview, but this could be because I wasn't looking for it or maybe I'm looking for it more seeing as this is the full game. I'd recommend you do take a look at the original video and make your own mind up on that one. Sound wise, the game is really strong here. Lawnmower engine sounds and ambient sounds when in the gardens are really clear and it sounds like they've made a real effort in this area. Sound effects aren't annoying by any means and everything in the sound department just works. So that brings us to gameplay and this is where things get slightly more complicated. I mean, I really think this game could have had more depth. I would have liked to drive to locations and park my trailer for example. I would have loved to use different tools in the garden in order to complete the job. I wouldn't even be above digging the soil if that was what was required to turn up the fun factor. But here's the thing, the game is called Lawn Mowing Simulator for a reason. If you buy this game you will be cutting lawns with a mower. Nothing more and nothing less. And here lies the problem when it comes to reviewing this game, because it never professes to be anything other than what it claims to be. I really wish it was more. But to coin one of my favourite phrases, 
it is what it is. In terms of a simulator about cutting lawns with a mower, it does that job very well. It feels very authentic, it sounds authentic, but I quickly found myself getting bored with the gameplay because there was little variation to what was going on. And that's just my feelings on it, you might have a great time. I would like to add one more negative, and this might be something that you'll care about, or you might not care about it at all. Ready? There's no learning experience here. With other simulators that I've played, such as Train Sim World, Microsoft Flight Simulator, even games like On The Road Truck Simulator, there's something to learn about the operation of machines within the chosen subject area. Here, there is nothing to learn at all, and that is a big no-no for me, and a missed opportunity by the developer in my opinion. But having said that, my final score of this game is 7 out of 10. The good things it does, it does very well, and it is fun, but it doesn't have much longevity. Having said that, I'd love to see the developer progress this entire concept and produce a game in the future that covers the whole landscape and business, as I don't think it's out of their range to do so. So that's the end of this review. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you would like to see more videos like this, then please do click on one of the videos that have come up on screen now. Thanks so much for coming through, and I'll catch you again next time.